Hello everyone, this is Dr. Gaunstein, and today I want to give a brief introduction to using the statistical software package called R. So uh, in the class, as you know, we go over a lot of topics in applied econometrics, and I give presentations or demos on how to use them in Stata. Well, in this lecture and in subsequent lectures, I will provide kind of an addendum where I show you how to perform those same operations, the same analysis, using a different software. This one's called R. So R is a really nice uh, statistical software, very commonly used. And one great thing about it is that it's open source. Another great thing about it is there's just a huge community surrounding the software. So there's a lot of resources to learn how to use it. And there's a lot of different commands that give you a lot of versatility in terms of how to conduct your data analysis. So I want to make sure that through this course you also get introduced to R. So what you see here in front of you is the basic what's called R Studio uh, interface. R Studio is just kind of this uh, package that goes on top of R that allows for just a really user-friendly interface uh, you know, for using the software package R. Okay, and then so today I'm just going to give you an introduction to how to use this, kind of help you feel a little bit more comfortable with what you're looking at. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to install R today in this video. Uh, we'll talk about that in class, and you can find other resources for that um, online. So I'm just picking up from um, from the assumption that you already have it, and you're looking at R Studio uh, at your in your computer. Okay, so here we go. Let's we'll just briefly kind of go through this so you feel more comfortable using the software. So our studio has four major windows. So you can see one here, 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 and here. And each one of those windows has, has a different purpose. So this window up here, this is where you will write your, um, your data analysis commands. So we can call this a script file. So this area appears a script file. You will type in, um, type in commands here. Okay, so you'll type in commands for what you want to do or what you want your data to do or how you want to change your data or what analysis you want to run on your data. You'll type that in here. Down here, what's called the console, this is where the output will come. So if you perform some analysis, the, the results of that analysis will um, come out here in the console area. In the top right, you'll see the global environment. This area here, the, the environment area, this will show you what data sets or what variables you have available to work with that you've currently kind of imported into R and now have available to you uh, to work with. And then lastly, down here in the bottom right, uh, we have a number of different things. Uh, but this space here will be where um, you'll see plots come out. So for example, if we create a graph, like a scatter plot or a bar graph or a histogram or something, uh, you'll see those come up down here. In fact, you'll see plot. Oh, here's a here's the, the last plot that I ran uh, or that I produced um, recently. So you'll see plots. You can actually scroll through them here. You see a bunch of plots that I've produced um, in previous work. And down here, we also have packages. I'll explain more about what packages are later. Uh, so down here, you'll see some output. So those are the four different windows. And so we'll use these a bunch. We use all four of them. Once you get some practice, you'll see that it's really convenient to have all four of these areas um, just immediately in front of you and, and accessible as you do your work. One thing you'll see here, which could become beneficial, uh, is is when you scroll over the little divider, you can actually change the size of these windows, which sometimes that can be really nice. Sometimes if I have very long lines of code, I might make this bigger so that so that my long line of code is easier to see. So if I have something that really runs for a while, it's nice to give myself some space to see it. Um, Okay, I can also move these up and down. So if, if my results are really big, I might slide this up so I can see the results more easily. Or if I have a bunch of lines of code um, and I want to be able to focus on them, I might make um, the script area bigger, etc. If I want to produce a graph and I think a, gra a plot is going to come up, I might make this space bigger so I can see it more easily. But you can see that it just gives you a lot of um, versatility in terms of how you want to view um, your analysis and your data. 
Okay, so that's the first bit. So next bit, I just kind of want to just very briefly show you what this looks like in practice so that you can get an idea of, of um, just how these different spaces get used. So it, you'll see this in every lecture we do, so I'm not going to go into details on it now, but I'm just going to go ahead and put in a, um, a line of code here. I just copy and pasted it in. I'll talk you through it in the next lecture. But here, I just want to import some data. I can import data through... Um, through typing in some code here, I'll explain it in a future lecture. I just copy and pasted it in now. But so here's here's the first line of code in R that you'll see. What I've do what I've what I'm doing here is I'm I want to create a data set and I'm going to call it wages. You'll see this a bunch. So you you'll you'll see this um, uh, this wages data set a bunch is what I mean. And I'm just going to say I want to create a, a data set called wages and this little arrow, which is um, the less than sign with with a little dash, um, all that means is that I'm creating a a data set called wages, and what the data set is going to be is it's going to be some source of data that I'm pulling from my computer. So I said read DTA. I won't go into the details on that right now, but that's a code that will pull a data set from my computer and put it into R. Okay, so so this is the this is the pathway on my computer that will pull in a data set called wages um, that's sitting on my computer and I give that the name wages. So when I want to run that I'll highlight it. I can highlight it right here inside the script file or as a convenient trick I can just hit the uh, the number so you can see here these numbers, they show you the number of lines of code. So each number indicates a line of code. You can just click the number and that highlights the whole thing. And then you go up here and you click run. And when you click run, it runs that command and it tells R to do that, whatever it is you're telling it to do, um, and it executes it. And so here what I've done is I've executed a line of, of code that imports a data set and calls it wages. Now, if I've imported a data set, that means it should show up in my global environment, and it so it does. So over here in the global environment, it says I have a data set called wages. The data set has 526 observations with six variables. You can also see that if I've executed a line of code, my console shows me the record of it. It shows me that I've executed that line of code. So um, this kind of just shows you how this is used. Now we can visualize the data. We can look at the data very conveniently just by coming over here and clicking uh, wages. What that does is it up here in this, in this um, um, command window, you'll see I now have the wages data set. And this shows you the data set. It looks a little bit like an Excel file where you have variables and you have uh, so you have columns which indicate variables and you have rows which indicate observations and you can see all the different variables in the data set we know there's six variables so one two three four five six and then we have 526 observations and so if I scroll down here I will find that this data set has 526 observations now I can close the data set and go back to my command window. And so this is how it works. So now if I wanted to if I wanted to perform some task, let's say I just wanted to get a brief summary of my data, I can type in a command. In this case, in R, it's very simple, it's just summary. So I'll click summary, I'll type in the data set wages, and it'll give me some output. In this case, what it does is it shows me some some statistics about each of the variables in my data set. You can see that I run the command and that produces some output um, down here in the console. Okay, so this is just a brief look at how R works, the basic interface. Okay, now let's say I, so I have this script file. I want to save it. I just come up here. I can click this little save icon or I can click this save icon. If I click the save icon, it'll give me the chance to save it on my computer. Okay. And if I want to create a new one, I can come up here and go to a new file. I'll do R script. R script here, I have a new one. I have a new file. I can do whatever I want with it. 
Okay. Close this down. Nope, don't save. All right. And then finally, just to be clear, I've done this, but I haven't explained it. If I use this little hashtag marker, this allows me uh, the hashtag allows me to make notes in my code that just allow me to note what I have done or to explain um, the meaning of my code. All right, I cannot stress enough that it is incredibly valuable to make notes in your code. Now, if I try to run this, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't mean anything. All it is is a note. It's just the words. So all it does is it gives me the opportunity to, to take notes in my R script file, in my code, that, that allow me to maybe in the future remember what the code does or, or um, keep notes on what it is I'm trying to accomplish with a particular line or a particular section of code. So it's a really good habit. I highly recommend that you take notes and you write explanations into your script file and then save it when you're done. Okay, so that's it. Um, we're going to go through a bunch of this in the rest of the class. You'll see here I have a script file. This script file is my notes. Uh, it has all of my notes for all the lectures we're going to do in this class. You can see all these lines of code. You can be very excited as I scroll through this that throughout the duration of this course, you will learn what all of these codes do, what all they mean. You'll be able to produce tons of analysis from all these codes, and you'll learn the skills necessary to write your own code to do your own data analysis. So with that, I can't wait for the rest of the class. And I will see you in class um, later. All right, have a great day, and we'll see you next time.